Hey everybody, I'm Nate from Skyheart. And I'm Erin Ash from Airtight Aesthetics. And today we're going to be telling you about TSK's line of low dead space needles. So what is a low dead space needle? So I think the easiest way to kind of see what it is, is to compare it to a standard needle. This is a standard needle, and this is a low dead space needle. The difference between the two is the design of the hub, which is the fitting where the needle connects to the syringe. In standard needles, a lot of product is wasted inside the area of the hub, which is called the dead space. Low dead space needles were created to eliminate the gap known as the dead space, therefore saving product and money, especially when using expensive drugs like neurotoxins. In this demonstration, we will help you visualize the amount of product being lost in a standard needle hub versus a low dead space needle hub. For both needles, we are using a 1cc low dead space lure lock syringe, which is the recommended syringe to use with the low dead space needles to reduce product loss and maximize efficacy. You can see with the low dead space needle, the syringe plunger extends all the way to the base of the needle. Whereas even with a low dead space syringe in a standard needle hub, there's a significant gap. Right there. Now we're injecting our fluid. Trying to get all that product out. Once the plunger is completely engaged, we can compare the amount of product that is left in the hub of both needles. You can see there's virtually no waste in the low dead space needle, and there's a measurable amount of product left in the standard needle hub. I've heard from several injectors this can equate to one to two units of toxin per syringe, which adds up really quickly. So which needle would you choose to use? These come in a variety of sizes. Yeah, so currently we carry a low dead space needle that is 30 gauge by 13 millimeters, a 33 gauge by 13 millimeters, a 33 gauge by nine millimeters. Soon we're gonna be getting a 32 gauge in. We also have the invisible needle, which the invisible needle is the smallest needle that TSK has ever invented. It's gonna be smaller than the 33 gauge needle it falls actually right in between the ISO standards of a 33 gauge and a 34 gauge. It's just 0.2 millimeters in diameter by 9 millimeters in length. And this reduces bleeding, bruising, it increases patient comfort because you a lot of times can barely even feel it. It stays sharper for a lot longer than a 30 or 31 gauge insulin needle or standard needle that you're using. Yeah, these come 100 per box, regardless of the size that you get. And to prove that the invisible needle is better than a 30 gauge, I will do a little test on myself. Here we will compare the invisible needle to a 30 gauge needle. So this is the invisible needle going into the yellow square. And now we have the 30 gauge, that's what you would typically see being used for Botox injections. Ooh, that was a pinch. And as you can see, there is bleeding where with the invisible needle, there was none. But if you imagine, you know, in the face, you've got a lot more blood vessels to worry about and it's easier to bleed and bruise. So invisible needle is way more comfortable and again, can't emphasize enough that you're not losing that product. So you can purchase both the low dead space needles or the invisible needle, which has the low dead space needle hub from us here at Airtight. You can get them online at airtight.com. And again, we recommend that you pair them with a low dead space syringe. Oh.